Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, and welcome to yet another week of Z Learning brought to you by Riverbank Zoo and Garden. My name is Milo, and I am so excited this morning for Z Learning. I'm so glad to see all of you tuning in already. I got my birthday hat on. We are here to celebrate a very big, significant birthday right here in the Riverbanks family. Those of you who saw our post last night, you already know whose birthday we're celebrating today. It is Patrick, our dominant male silverback gorilla. He is turning 30 years old today, April 13th. And I am so happy to see all of you tuning in. Good morning, everybody. Patrick cannot wait for the fun to begin. But before we get too ahead of ourselves with all of the birthday fun and celebrations, I gotta be honest with all of you. I was pretty nervous this morning because here in Columbia, we had quite a lot of storms roll through our area overnight. Hopefully everyone held tight through all the storms. There wasn't a whole lot of damage for you at home. We didn't lose power here at the zoo. Everything was hunky-dory here on site. And thankfully so, because Patrick hates the rain. But it is a sunny morning this morning. In fact, let me go ahead and turn around this camera because we are joined by some of our gorilla keepers. Look at them heading out on the yard. We got Tom, Meredith, and Laborde out there already. They got their birthday hats on for Patrick this morning. And it looks like they are spreading around some of that birthday cheer for our big 30-year-old boy. They're spreading out his food. He's going to have the whole habitat to himself this morning. Oh, and we're joined by Jane too. Jane is one of our mammal keepers, as are all four of these individuals. And Jane's actually gonna be joining us after we move Patrick out on habitat this morning. But let me actually back up a little bit because Meredith, one of our keepers, took so much time this morning to write out happy 30th birthday Patrick on our windows this morning for all of you to celebrate along with us. Now, if you already noticed in the caption of our video this morning, we encourage you for Z Learning today to go ahead and send us those bir virtual birthday wishes. Virtual birthday wishes, that's a bit of a mouthful. But we want you to go ahead and comment here on the video with photos of cards you've made for Patrick. Maybe you wanna record a video of you wishing happy birthday to Patrick. This is our way to social distance with each other this morning as we celebrate a very big 30th birthday surprise. They even painted some presents for Patrick this morning. But I will say this section right here in the middle is going to be where a very special cake is going to come out here in just a little bit. Now, Patrick is a very unique gorilla here at Riverbanks. In fact, he's lived here with us for the past about seven years. Um, since he's going to be turning 30, he hasn't lived here his entire life. In fact, he's moved around from a few different accredited facilities, a few different zoos across North America, but we are his happy home right now. And you might know from visiting Riverbanks in the past that Patrick prefers to spend his time alone. Now, Patrick's actually a solitary male gorilla, which means that he doesn't really interact directly with our family troop. Naturally out in the wild, dominant male gorillas would have their own specific troop. So they would be a dominant male that would lead that troop and have females and their offspring joining them. And we recreate that here at Riverbanks, which means that Patrick gets the place to himself today, which also then means that our family troop actually is hanging out inside of our day room today and they'll have access into the building. What we do is we kind of shift them all throughout the area so that way they Share space, but not all at the same time, if that makes sense. Let me turn around the camera one more time. Our keepers are spreading out jello this morning. There's peanut butter. Good morning, nice to see y'all. This is Meredith right here. She's spreading out peanut butter on the walls. Patrick loves, with a big old heart, <laughs> peanut butter, <laughs> as do I. Now, a lot of things that we eat, obviously gorillas shouldn't eat, because it's not necessarily the healthiest snack for them. But of course, our veterinary staff, our commissary technicians that we met last week, and our keepers work very hard to make sure that our gorillas and all of our animals have healthy snacks. But of course, on a 30th birthday celebration, we can have some extra special snacks, things that Patrick doesn't guess necessarily get on a regular basis. Here comes the rest of the crew. They're bringing out a big old pile of hay too. Now remember, when we talked about gorillas a couple weeks back, when we came here to Gorilla Base Camp, we learned that gorillas are actually strict vegetarians. They only eat plant matter, which means that Patrick's gonna get a, a whole lot of plants to munch on this morning. But it's nice to see all of you commenting in with your well wishes. 
Alexis and William just commented in age 12 and 10, they would like to know what is the cake made out of? Honestly, Alexis and William, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the cake yet this morning. It could be a frozen cake. Meredith actually was the one who kind of built it with the help of the rest of her team, and it's going to sit right here. So hold your breath with me. We're going to find out exactly what that cake is made out of here in a second. And when Jane joins us after they shift Patrick over, we'll have to ask her exactly what all the ingredients are. Because maybe today for your Z learning activity at home, maybe you could make your own Patrick-style birthday cake. Thanks for sending in all those well wishes. 30 is a big birthday to celebrate. Patrick is actually our oldest gorilla here at Riverbanks. And like I said, he's lived with us for about the last seven years. And today he is going to be treated extra special this morning. Now, today I am actually by myself right now in Gorilla Base Camp, which is why I have my mask down around my chin. I don't have to worry about social distancing when I have the whole building to myself. But you notice those keepers out on Habitat, they actually went in to grab some more stuff. I'll turn around in a second. But you notice they had their masks on. In fact, they had a protective shield on too. Those are all the precautions that we're taking with those protective equipment, whether they're masks, gloves, protective shields, or even gowns in some animal areas. Because we wanna make sure our animals are healthy, especially during this pandemic. And that's true all the time. In fact, we're always wearing masks when we're working with our primate species. So now, of course, today, it is extremely important, but believe it or not, that's actually a common practice that we do as a regular working habit to ensure that our animals are healthy and happy every day here at Riverbanks. Ooh, I need to turn around this camera. The cake has just arrived. Meredith worked so hard on it. Look at that cake. It is a frozen cake. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have a cake war moment. Hopefully she doesn't lose the cake. Careful, Meredith. Easy does it. Now, if I take a close look, it looks like we have quite a lot of different ingredients. I see frozen fruit inside of it. You can even see the numbers 30 on the front. There's even a banana shoot on the top. If I was Patrick the Gorilla, I would be so excited to have this cake here in a second. It looks like all of our keepers though are heading back inside. Now you notice that our keepers aren't out there hanging out with Patrick this morning. We do not share space with our gorillas. There's always a protective barrier between us and them. They are very large, potentially dangerous animals, which means that we much prefer to work with them behind a barrier. So once everything is out and settled, including this beautiful cake, the keepers are gonna go ahead and lock, secure, shut all those different doors and make sure that everything is safe and secure before we open up the door that Patrick will actually come out of. So there's one of those doors that our keepers are kind of going in and out of, but of course they're doing some last minute checks, make sure the habitat is perfectly safe for Patrick. Everything is prepped and ready. You saw that they were spreading out lots of different food. I see collards and kale, even a little bit of sweet potato too. And he has all these big piles with hidden jello too. Now, I will be honest, I am on the edge of my seat waiting to see how Patrick reacts this morning, because if I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to say he's going to be pretty quick to grab some of these goodies, and maybe he'll stick around. We'll have to wait and see. But remember, it is Patrick's big birthday, not ours, so however he wants to celebrate, he gets to choose to today. He has free choice all throughout the yard today, and he gets to celebrate his big 30th however he wishes. Now, it looks like our keepers went ahead and locked up that door, and they are going to be heading out on Habitat, or I shouldn't say they are heading out on Habitat. Patrick's going to be heading out on Habitat here in just a second. Now, I want to say thank you to everybody who's joining in. We have over a thousand people tuning in for Patrick's big 30th birthday. This is amazing. I'm so glad you all are celebrating. Maybe you have your birthday hat on at home as well. I hope you do. Keep sending in those well wishes for Patrick. We can't wait to see all of you tuning in. Now, here in a bit, I might be joined by some other one of our keepers, so I'll actually go ahead and slide up my mask when I turn around this camera. But right now, what we're doing is we're waiting for a radio call. The gorilla keepers are going to let us know when Patrick is heading out on Habitat. And soon, they're going to call us. That was actually them. Let me go ahead and grab my radio. Go ahead for Milo. Are you ready for Patrick? All 1,600 of us are ready for Patrick's birthday. Go ahead and send him on out. All right, they're sending them out. Let me turn around this camera because you want to see Patrick, of course. Let's get a close look so that way we can take a peek at him right when he heads out that door. Now, I want you to keep your eyes peeled more towards the left side, not where those keepers are. 
<laughs> we're coming out of. Keepers are radioing back and forth. Oh, here comes our big birthday boy. He's coming right around the corner, everybody. You better be wishing him a happy birthday. Oh, he's pausing. He doesn't know what to think. There's so much going on. Now, remember, Patrick, like I said, gets to celebrate his birthday however he would like to this morning. <laughs> and if he wants to take his time or if he wants to rush through it, and however he wants to open his birthday surprises, we are here to celebrate with him. <laughs> Look at this guy. He went right for the cake topper, pulled it off, tested it out, and now he's gonna enjoy the rest of those cakes. Good for him, I'm glad that he's sticking around. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. He may be carrying it off with them. Check that out, everybody. Those of you who are curious what a gorilla birthday party looks like, it looks like a dine and dash. You come and you grab it and you take it to where you wanna eat it today. And Patrick wanted to eat over in the grass this morning. It looks like he's taking all those different tiers that the keepers work so hard on putting together and he's gonna enjoy each of them individually. Now, when, like I said, when Jane comes in here, we'll have to ask her all the specific ingredients, but if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess there's a little bit of diluted juice potentially, or maybe even some sugar-free Kool-Aid. Like I said, we offer our animals lots of different diet items to kind of mix up what they're eating on a daily basis. But in order to celebrate a birthday, there might be some extra special treats that they might not receive every single day. Brandy, you got it right. He went straight for the cake. He knows exactly how to celebrate. This isn't his first birthday. He's done 30 of these, so he knows what to do. <laughs> Noelle just commented in wondering, your wife was wondering if other gorillas get to join Patrick or do they have to hang out in different groups? Well, Patrick is a dominant male silverback gorilla, which means naturally out in the wild, he would have his own group or he would hang out with other males on their kind of own bachelor groups if they were younger. Now, Patrick being a 30 year old individual, he prefers to actually spend his time on his own. He kind of likes his own me time. And we allow our gorilla, both different groups, to have their own separate spaces that they rotate and share throughout the day. So right now our family troop with Senzu, the females, and the little boys are actually hanging out inside while Patrick enjoys his big birthday cake here this morning. Thanks everybody for tuning in. It is so awesome to see over 1,700 of you joining in this morning, sending in all those great birthday wishes. Oh, he's gonna try to smash it up this morning. Now, I will say, I actually am joined by Jane. Let me go ahead and pull up my mask real quick. Jane, if you want to come on over here so that way we can chat, sure. I want to go ahead and introduce Jane. You saw her out on Habitat. She's over here right now with her hat on and everything already. Now, Jane, folks have been wondering, and I've been curious myself, what is the cake made out of this morning? So we have ice treats uh, made of Kool-Aid and Gatorade that are put together by oatmeal. And those ice treats have some prunes, um, some dates, some raisins, um, and some good fruit inside of them. <laughs> that sounds like a delicious snack for a big 30th birthday. So those of you who couldn't hear Jane, she was mentioning that all the different tiers are kind of different flavors, whether they're diluted Gatorade or diluted Kool-Aid, sugar-free, of course. And then there's also frozen fruits inside, some prunes and some other special treats all inside. So the idea of that having a frozen treat, it's not necessarily too hot outside this morning in Columbia. It's more the idea to make it last a little longer. This is a great form of enrichment for Patrick, which means the longer it lasts and the longer he interacts and forages with it, will encourage that natural foraging behavior because believe it or not, gorillas just eat all throughout the day. But that birthday cake has all of his attention this morning. Now, Jane, since you are actually Patrick's primary keeper, or I should say primary trainer. You work with a whole team of keepers that take care of all the gorillas. But when it comes to training new behaviors, you all kind of have a point person for specific trained behaviors with animals. Tell us a little bit more about Patrick's personality since you work so closely with him. We'll go ahead, keep the camera on Patrick. So that way you can all watch him enjoy his um, birthday cake. Actually, Jane, let's go ahead and scooch over so that way they can get a little bit better of you. But go ahead, tell us a little bit more about Patrick's personality and what he's like to work with. So Patrick is a very special gorilla. Um, since he is by himself, he loves time with his keepers. He's very focused um, and very patient, 
but he, since he's so smart, he um, can be mischievous. So you <laughs> always have to be on your toes when you're working with him. Um, when I'm training new behaviors with him, uh, it's very fun because he is so smart um, and I get really excited when he gets it and he gets really excited because he gets those uh, good treats for doing the correct behavior but he's always thinking and <laughs> I always have to stay on my toes to uh, make sure he doesn't get me with a tool um, or just spin it around on well, me. Well, and actually, speaking of that, you might not be able to see at home right now, but Patrick actually grabbed a stick that was sitting nearby. Patrick is really well known for his tool use. He grabbed a stick and he's actually using it to kind of grab the filling in between the frozen layers of his cake. He's really outsmarting his keepers, you could say, this morning. They tried to puzzle this cake together for his big birthday surprise. And now he's gonna see if he can try to smash it open. Hopefully y'all are able to see this morning. But like I said, it's Patrick's birthday, so wherever he wants to sit for it, he gets to decide. But Jane, you kind of briefly mentioned all those different behaviors that you work on with the gorillas. Now, those of you who've been tuning in for Z-Learning, you've seen our different training sessions, whether they're with our sea lions and seals, for example. You know that all those different behaviors aren't just for fun. They're not just for a giggle and just to entertain us. They're far more important. They're for husbandry behaviors to take care of our animals. Now. What's one of those behaviors that you've actually worked on with Patrick? Can you give us an example of one of those husbandry behaviors? Sure, so um, injection behaviors are very important for our gorillas. They can get um, most of the diseases that we can get. So they do get flu shots, um, different boosters, and different, um, almost all the vaccines that people get. Um, so injection training is really important for our primates. Um, and Patrick is a great injection um, trainee. He That is so cool. Let, so, yeah, sorry. No, I just am so amazed by that. Those of you who are at home, you might be wondering what is injection training. So I want you to have a flashback to the last time you were at the doctor <laughs> and you got a shot and you kind of winced and grimaced through it, but you got the shot anyway. Imagine doing that with an almost 400 pound animal that doesn't really know exactly what the shot's for and doesn't really understand. Working with keepers like Jane as a primary trainer with Patrick, they're able to build that relationship and actually create a trust so that way he's able to know that when he sits, presents his arm for that injection training, that'll be over briefly and that he'll get a very big reward for helping to participate in his own health care. So it's really impressive to think of a way to communicate with an animal <laughs> like Patrick. He is tossing that cake all around today. He is trying to break it up as best he possibly can this morning. Now, Jane, that is a great example of husbandry behaviors. I can't imagine the patience that that takes. Working with Patrick, he cannot seem to get those three layers separated <laughs> this morning. <laughs> he is trying so hard, though, to break apart that cake and enjoy all of it together. Now, Patrick has a very big personality here at the zoo. In fact, oh, he might be rolling that cake all the way down here. Yep. I think he has an idea. I think he can tell that there's over a thousand of you tuning in for Z Learning <laughs> this morning. Patrick loves an audience. He loves to interact with his keepers. And you also might notice on a typical day here at Riverbanks when we're not, of course, temporarily closed, Patrick spends most of his days actually hanging out inside in our day room area. Like I said, they rotate all throughout those spaces, but Patrick actually chooses to be in that day room. All the different doors are open so he can go into bedrooms or a behind the scenes patio outside. But Patrick actually has kind of, he gets his kicks out of people watching. He loves to watch guests, but also keepers too. And by hanging out in that day room, he's close to both the keeper kitchen and also all of you guests on a typical day here at Riverbanks. Now I will say, if we're missing some of those questions, y'all are sending them in so quickly. We hope to get to them later. I do have some of my team members that are answering some of them, so I appreciate their help. And we'll try to get to all those questions as best we can. <laughs> It looks like he is moving it all over the place. Now, Jane, of course he doesn't get birthday cake every single day. What is Patrick's favorite snack to enjoy? Probably Patrick's <laughs> favorite snack is peanut butter, <laughs> which a lot of the animals at the zoo, their favorite snacks are And probably butter. a lot of you at home love peanut butter too. Now, if you joined us earlier, you saw that Meredith, one of our other mammal keepers, was actually smearing peanut butter on the window in those heart shapes. I guess Patrick hasn't seen that yet, Jane. Maybe he's, he's way too concerned about smushing up this cake. He has his back foot resting on it right now. <laughs> he's finally realizing that there are some other snacks that he can enjoy. 
and it looks like he's licking apart all the filling that was kind of putting that cake together. Now maybe we'll challenge y'all at home. Maybe you should make a cake that looks like this and see if you could break it apart because Patrick is a very, very strong animal. I mean, he's almost 400 pounds, so he's a very, very big guy. But this is a great form of enrichment. Like I said, it's awesome that it's taking him some time to forage and interact with it. And we love that he's actually enjoying it with us because he has the entire yard to go wherever he wants to. And thankfully, he's hanging out with us this morning. <laughs> Let's see if we have any questions. Oh, Jamie was wondering, Jamie Marlin was wondering, what kind of other tools does Patrick use? So uh, he mainly uses sticks, but he really understands how to use those sticks. For instance, he will bite the end of the stick um, to make it more like a spoon or a spatula to really get into, <laughs> really get into a cup or the termite mound and get that last piece of treat out. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over. He just did a big old lick of the window to get all this peanut butter off <laughs> this morning. Well, it looks like he broke up quite a bit of the cake. My stomach dropped when he was going to chuck it. Thank goodness he broke up some of it, so now he's nice and busy. Let's see if we can, there's a little bit better view of Patrick. Great question, Jamie. Hopefully you're able to catch Jane's answer. She mentioned that he mainly uses sticks as tools, um, and he loves to kind of sometimes chew the ends of them to kind of flatten them out sometimes to be more of like a spoon or a spatula. But another neat thing about his tool use is Patrick actually knows what size of tool to use too. So our termite mound, like we saw our other gorillas recently using on Z Learning, you notice that all those different holes actually have different depths too. So Patrick is really good at finding the right length of stick, width, strength, all that sort of good stuff. He's very, very intelligent. It is a very durable cake, Sherry, you are exactly right. <laughs> Leah was wondering, age eight, does Patrick climb trees? Um, I don't think he really climbs the trees on the yard, but we do have some makeshift trees that we have um, in our barn, the made of rope, logs, um, and fire hose. And he is very good at climbing those considering he is almost 400 pounds. He, he doesn't look very graceful, but he does it very well. <laughs> now, typically out in the wild, even though gorillas are very good at climbing, they're very strong, they have thumbs on all of their limbs, so on their hands and feet, they're very good at climbing. They typically spend most of their time actually hanging out on the ground. They're much more terrestrial, um, which is kind of unique for primates. That's not a typical behavior. Um, Maeve, I did just see your question, though. I just lost it. Shoot. Maeve was wondering, how long does it take him to eat? Well, Maeve, we're hoping it takes him a whole long time because it is not every day that it is Patrick's birthday. Hopefully you just saw it. He is picking up that cake over his head and smashing it against the ground, trying to break it up into lots of different pieces. Jane, I'd say he's doing a pretty good job. He yeah. looks like he's broken up most of the layers of it already. Y'all keep sending in those questions. Oh, Sydney, your daughter was wondering, where did Patrick come from? Well, Patrick was actually born at the Bronx Zoo in New York City back in 1990, of course, on April 13th. And he's actually lived at quite a few different accredited zoos. He's kind of moved around a little bit, but he arrived here to Riverbanks from the Dallas Zoo in Texas. But he's lived here at Riverbanks for almost the last seven years. So he is a very beloved member of our Riverbanks family. Oh, <laughs> Eric is wondering, do they act differently when it storms? Go ahead, Jane, I'll let you answer that question. When it rains, do the gorillas act a little differently? I think they kind of act like we do. Uh, they don't exactly appreciate being in the rain. <laughs> so um, maybe you've seen the video a couple of years ago um, of our troop coming out of the rain and making those faces that we do when it starts to rain. <laughs> um, so although they will be in the rain, they don't exactly appreciate it. Um, but they are safe inside when it does storm really bad. <laughs> so this morning, that's why I mentioned when we were originally went live, I said how nervous I was, because if we had a rainy birthday, odds are we were going to have to reschedule, because Patrick really doesn't care for any sort of rain on him at all. But if you have not seen that video that Jane just mentioned, head on over to our YouTube channel, Riverbank Zoo, and check out that video. It is so funny to see all those different animated faces that the gorillas make when they got just a little too wet for their liking. Great question though. 
-hmm. Now, if you can't get a good view of Patrick right now, he kind of has, has his back turned to us right now. He's enjoying that cake. He smashed it all up into different pieces. But Jane, I don't think Patrick realizes that there's a lot of other snacks around here. In fact, they're all kind of sitting around on the floor. He has a lot of different food to enjoy too. But you know what? I think what we're going to do is we might actually let Patrick enjoy the rest of his cake in privacy and have a happy birthday. Those of you who are sending in all of those birthday wishes, we thank you so much. And thank you, Jane, for joining us this morning. We're going to go ahead and turn around this camera real quick. A big, huge thank you to everybody who joined us this morning at Gorilla Base Camp to celebrate Patrick's 30th birthday. We want you to go ahead, keep in, sending in those comments, wishing him a big happy birthday. And I'll see if I can get some extra video or photos of Patrick this morning celebrating his big 30th. Until tomorrow, though, we'll join you at Z Learning live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a wild day.